So this is a repair of the signal light lens on the right hand side of this van on the 91 high ace. The passenger one is faded, but there aren't any cracks or anything. So it passed inspection, but the other one failed. And I tried getting one. I got a tail light from Japan, but I couldn't get a signal light by hook or by crook. They're just, they're made of unobtainium. They're hard to get, impossible to get. You can't get them. So the one I did end up getting was worse than this. It had a big crack in it. So I sent it back. And I did a little bit of research. And according to this research, you can sand them. And any cracks that are in them, you can fill in with epoxy, which I've done. And when you sand them up high enough, you can clear coat them. And then it comes out just like a brand new headlight. So I've, I'm doubtful that it'll actually work, but I have to give it a try. So I sanded this with 220 and then 320 just to smooth it out, take off anything. And the 320 was wet sanding. And there are some cracks that appear to be inside. You can't feel them. But the ones that were through and through, and I know they're through and through because this used to be full of water. Uh, there's a big one there and a big one there. I ground them out just using the die grinder with probably a metal cutoff wheel on it. Very carefully just to open that up give some tooth to the epoxy and I got this two-part epoxy clear I've never used it before but you squish it out and it comes out pre-measured so as you push the plunger it pushes a bit of each out you mix them up with the little stick they gave you and I used a just a screw to dab it in there I think I've got it in all the cracks it's Kind of settling down and evening out. So I'll let that dry 24 hours and then try to sand it again. Hit it with probably 120 and then 220, 320 and sand it up. So that epoxy is dried. Gonna go switch back to 120 and see how that works. After filling those cracks, I sanded it up from 120, 220, 320, 400, and now 500, <clears throat> 500 plus 600. And uh, the clear that I got, they recommend just five or 600. So this will be my last sand. So 
you can still see all the scratches, but because of how the epoxy filled them in, it sanded off smooth. So if you had your fingernail here, you can't feel anything. It's all sealed up. So that's sanded up to 600. I think that's pretty smooth. And this is the product that they recommended at the body, the body supply shop today. Acrylic clear coat for plastic and such. So, blah, 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 blah. I guess shake it up and go. Second coat laid down pretty good. You can still see the cracks, but I don't know if that matters as long as it's sealed. And I'm also building some shelves. I'm doing all my stinky work under the fume hood. I'm gonna get out of here and let that dry. So the second coat is dry. It looks really good, it's really shiny. Really smooth. So there's a comparison. You can see how dull the old ones are. And I might actually do this to this side as well, just to freshen it up. The installation and removal of these front signal lights is actually really simple. Just go inside the door on whichever side you're changing. And you look down there, there's a screw, a big Phillips screw. You just take that out. And I find as helpful as you're turning it out, as it starts to loosen, you push it. And you hear that it clicks out of the clips in front. So as you're turning it, you push it. And that dislodges the housing. And then you can just pop it off. There are a couple clips in there, in there, on there. And this is the retaining screw on this side. That's all it is to get them out. It's really simple. Installing them is just the same. Make sure your screw's out. Got your bulbs in. And you just line up those clips. Make sure the wires are out of the way. snaps back in place and that Phillips screw gets tightened from the inside and you're done. It's definitely really shiny. The finish turned out really, really nice. It's really bright, really smooth. So for that, I give the, the clear product an A+. As far as the cracks go where the epoxy was, I'm not really sure. Maybe I didn't drill it out deep enough. But even on the places where you can see that it's a little bit deeper, it just is sort of a dull white cream. It seals off those cracks for sure, but it accentuates them. It doesn't do anything to minimize them. This was my first time trying this, so maybe I didn't do it right. If anybody knows, I'd love to know the answer. Uh, comment on it, tell me what I did wrong, what I should be doing. I'd really appreciate that if I could, even if I had to redo these, I'd do that. 
Uh, I just don't know if it would help. I don't know if it's savable. But otherwise, the shine part, I definitely would recommend for restoring old turn signals, um, brake lights, that sort of thing, for restoring them and shining them up, 100%. But I call it a fail when it comes to fixing the cracks. So comment and tell me what I need to do. And if you like the videos, don't forget to like them, subscribe, share with anybody you might think would be interested in something like this. I'd really appreciate it.